boobers. What do you think about Vlogtober 3rd? So this is the new chair that we uh, picked up yesterday. Got it at Goodwill for $4.99. Not a bad buy. It fits my, uh, I actually have a stand-up desk here. But when I want to sit down, it's actually tall enough that I can sit down at my uh, stand-up desk, which is pretty nice. But that's not what I'm trying to show right now. What I'm trying to show right now is this new pair of shoes that I just picked up here. Some Asics. These are the Gel Excite Trail shoes. I got the uh, graphite gray slash electric red color. Picked them up at Kohl's. Um, said they were on clearance for $55 according to the tag here. However, when the lady rung me up, I ended up paying $45 for them. It was like 45 and some change. So pretty, uh, pretty great deal actually. Now, never owned a pair of Asics before. Oddly enough, I usually go with Brooks or Ciccone, a couple other ones, but uh, these these were nicer than any of the other ones that I could find over there, and they were definitely the right price. So here they are, partially made out of recycled materials. Uh, obviously, they're all man-made materials as well. There's no leather or anything like that. So yeah, pretty excited to try these out, probably tomorrow. Not going to be doing any running today. Today is a rest day, which I haven't had a true rest day where I don't actually do anything in a while. Usually, even on a rest day, I end up walking like three or four miles. So uh, today we're literally just sitting around the house, pretty much doing nothing, maybe doing some cooking and stuff like that. Uh, I'll do some maintenance on our bikes. I got to get our bikes cleaned up now that we got them back up in the apartment. So that way we can ride later in the week. But here you have it, some Asics trail running shoes. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of road bike maintenance here. Just gonna clean up the uh, chain and then the uh, back there. Maybe clean the uh, crank up a little bit. And then I gotta move this. This is my uh, GoPro camera mount, but it's actually blocking the mount that I put my Garmin on. So I'm gonna have to undo this, pop this out, probably just scoot it over a little bit and then put this guy back on. Maybe even retape this a little bit. This uh, tape right here is going a little wonky. So I put down some protection on the carpet because we don't want to get any oil or anything on the carpet. This is what we're going to be lubricating the chain with. Some Triflow. gonna leave that let it soak on the chain for about five minutes or so and then we'll clean it off so we've waited our allotted time and now we're gonna clean this chain up a little bit Okay, that looks pretty good. A lot better than it looked before. So, definitely ready for probably a ride, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, not sure. But you definitely wanna maintain your bike, keep it clean. It's gonna last you a lot longer if you do. I've had this bike since uh, 2013. So, almost 10 years at this point, I've been riding this thing and it still runs great. Still rides great, I should say.
lots of chunks of the uh, PVP in here. Hopefully it's pretty good. We're gonna let it cool down for a minute. Mm, that's pretty good. The little chicken bits in here are pretty tasty actually. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we got this one at Target. For two dollars and sixty-nine cents, I believe. Mm. Yeah, I would definitely buy this again. So for dinner, we're doing a stir fry. We're gonna be using some of these Butler soy kernels. Here they are in the pan. Inga, usually after she soaks these and drains them, she uh, likes to season them up and cook them a little bit. And then I will end up finishing them off with the stir fry. But this is what they look like after they've been reconstituted in water and then uh, all the water squeezed out of them. All right, we're gonna chop up some of these baby carrots to go into our stir fry. Toss these guys in a bowl on the side here. These extra little bits that we have here. We're gonna throw in our bag that we keep in the freezer because we use these for making vegetable broth. So some of the other things we're gonna be using. We got some tricolor coleslaw that we're gonna put in there, just some cabbage. There's already a little bit of shredded carrots in there, but it's mostly just uh, green and red cabbage. We're gonna put in some broccoli. Obviously the things I just chopped up here, the chicken, AKA the Butler soy curls. We've got some pineapple going on. And the sauce that we're gonna be using is this sauce that we got over at Aldi. I think we got this about two weeks ago or so, something like that, but we haven't used it yet. So we're gonna try it tonight. And these are the noodles that we're gonna be using. Just organic wheat noodles ingredients on here wheat flour and water and salt so nothing crazy added in there very simple very delicious very easy to cook as well in fact we're gonna get these going first okay so we're just gonna cook up two little bundles of these because you get quite a bit even out of just the two little bundles plus we have all the other fun stuff to go with it so let's get this water boiling nice and hot we're gonna pour in some vegetable broth this is definitely not fruit juice it is vegetable broth that I store in an old fruit juice container for convenience
Okay, we're getting ready to add in everything else. Here, let's grab the noodles. And soy curl chicken. Dump in a little bit of the sauce here. Actually, a lot of the sauce. Get it pretty saucy. All right, we're ready to serve. Top it with a little bit of sesame seeds. And that is it. Good to go. Nice, easy stir fry noodle dinner. Well, that does it for Vlogtober 3rd, everybody. If you've made it to this point of the video, you're a real trooper, because this has been a long video today. You should pat yourself on the back. In fact, if you've made it this far, I want you to type in the comment section, back pat. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and you want to show some support for this channel. Thank you guys for watching again. Until tomorrow. Take care.